Hey there, friends. Woke up this morning and, and noticed that there was very little wind, which is pretty unusual for uh, this time of year and in this country that I'm at, and decided to take the rifle out and see if we couldn't make some hits. So using the Vortex uh, 1500, we ranged at about 702 yards, and today we're shooting the Savage 110 Elite Precision, which is essentially just a Savage 110 uh, action inside of an MDT chassis. This one's chambered in 300 PRC. We've got a Vortex Venom 5 to 25 uh, with the 34 millimeter tube. Let's in a lot of light, really clear picture, and uh, really just a eBay muzzle brake. And you'll see when we shoot, this rifle has pretty much no recoil. We're going to roll in here the shooter app recommended by Mountains Mullets America. Um, he's pretty much the reason I got into ELR as a hobby, even though 700 yards is not really ELR. But you can see we're using the 225 ELDMs. And I should have dialed 3.4 like the app said. I went with 3.5 because I've noticed that the BC provided by Hornady I don't think is 100% true or at least not 100% consistent. But you'll still see the results there that uh, we had downrange, despite not listening to the computer overlords on the elevation. You can see that we're shooting at that plate there. That's an 8-inch plate, 702 yards. Um, if I had one complaint about this setup, it's that the uh, parallax adjustment on the... Uh, Vortex Venom 5x25. It's really, really fine as you're getting up past 500 yards. There's there's probably, you know, 10 oh, degrees God. of rotation between 500 and infinity. So it makes getting that parallax at those longer ranges kind of difficult. But still doable. You do the best that you can. And perhaps maybe in the future we'll upgrade to the Gen 3 Razor or something when I feel like spending that much money on a scope. Tried to keep this set up here as cheap as possible. Probably around $3,500 out the door, scope and rifle. And it's really just a tack driver. So I'm going to let you listen to the audio of the shooting and then we're going to check back with you after we're done and drive to the target and comment on how it was being behind the trigger. All right. We may have hit it first shot. We hit the chain. Done. Well, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> so I'll throw in some commentary here uh, as we drive to the target about what it was uh, behind the scope. But uh, my previous hunting rifle was a, th a 308 in an 18 inch barrel, did just fine. But that 300 PRC out of that 30 inch barrel is really. Uh, making me recalibrate how I think about windage because that had been a maybe a one mil one and a half mil hold with the 308 at that uh, at that barrel length and there was zero wind hold I was holding dead on the target there for these two shots and I just I get a little bit more comfortable with those wind calls 
the more uh, rounds I get down range. And uh, as you notice, the recoil on that rifle is almost nothing. It allows for very quick follow-up shots. I was able to see the target before the impact. I think time of flight is just under a second, about 0.8 seconds. And I was still able to get on target and uh, see that see that impact. Can make those calls without having to go look at the at the spotting scope or even have a spotter. Um, and so that package of a really heavy rifle, it sucks to carry, but you really pay uh, dividends for that weight downrange. Um, now, our the first shot did hit the chain just above where the plate stopped, so we were probably a tenth left and a tenth high. And that was just me dialing 3.5. I should have dialed 3.4 like the app said, but that's, in my opinion, that's still a dead animal. And what's great about that 300 PRC is when you're doing those public land hunts where you really got to put that animal down before, you know, it can't walk 50 feet uh, and get onto a private property. You really got to sit that animal down. And we're talking 25, almost 2,600 feet uh, foot pounds of energy at this distance. So I'm real happy with those shots. Um, that had been a dead animal even in a, a little bit off there. And that second shot, the plate wasn't even facing us. It was sort of just hanging there at an angle. But again, I, I it's a really enjoyable rifle to shoot, a lot of fun. And hopefully now that I got this scope cam, I'll be able to record a lot more of my shooting uh, endeavors. All right, friends. Well, you take care and we'll catch you next time.